On this video, I'm going to show you how to um, put, how to make a um, water droplet. And it's a water droplet. I'm going to show you how to make it on this piece of tile. And I'm also going to show you how to make it on a rock. This is what it looks like finished. Uh, I happen to do this on a rock just to show you. Um, so that's what the water droplets look like on rocks. This is what they look like on this tile, which is um, just a regular, you know, eight inch ceramic, like bisque, bisque tile. And um, I coated it with green. Uh, this is these potty paints. Um, they're just an acrylic paint. This is a light green. And I'm also gonna use dark green in white. That's what I'm gonna use for this. On the rock, I'm gonna use black instead of the dark green because I have no green on here. So you always have to take the color that, if this tile was blue, I'd be using a dark blue for my shading. So uh, the black, the, the gray and the, ra the rock is making me say, okay, it's gray, so I'm gonna use the black and gray type of color. So every, every time you do this, you just wanna go with whatever your undercolor is to make it look like a water drop because of course, it's transparent. You want to be able to see through it. So I've got the camera as close as I can get it to try to show you this. So I use this little tiny brush. Um, if I'm going a little bit bigger of a, um, you know, like a water drop like this size, then I kind of go with a little, maybe a little bit bigger of a brush. This is like a little square brush. But uh, I'm going to start with this little one. Now, I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can. There's, you know, three steps to it three or four steps to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is draw a circle. And um, with the white, this is just white. And my first thing to do is get my circle. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because water droplets aren't perfect. Uh, some of them are shaped a little bit different. After I draw my circle, I wet the brush I dab it off on the paper towel so it's just a little wet and I pull out some of the color. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, while it's still wet, you can pull out the color now, so that you have the green showing through underneath. Now, I do have some light green on my paper here. So if you, when you see it like this, now you're gonna take it, okay, I'm gonna add some green into it because I do want it to show that green underneath, but I'm, as you can see, I'm adding very, very little color to it. Just a little bit of the same green that's on here onto my white, on top of the white, but I'm leaving kind of a little bit of a white edging. Okay, so, so far I've just put the white and just keep playing with it a little bit and spreading it around. You don't have to, you know, it's not like a coat, two coats, three coats, just a one coat of it. Um, dab off, your, dry your brush a little, clean your brush off. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the white and on the bottom half of this circle, I'm gonna add a little more white back to it, okay? Now, as you can see, it's almost like the bottom half is white. Um, I'm still not going real heavy with the paint. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna dab it off. And then I'm gonna feather that center area right there to make that look so it just flows instead of there's, a, there's no harsh line there. It just flows a little bit so, so that you're just feathering it. Now, now I want this top area, the top half of the bubble, to be darker. So I'm going to use the dark. I'm now wet and I'm using it. It's going to go on real dark, but I'm going to take some out. So now I'm doing top half of the bubble with the darker green. And I'm just pulling it down a little bit, putting it on the edge, the top edge, and then just pulling it down. Now I'm going to take the water again. I'm going to wet it, dab it off a little bit, so my brush has just got kind of, it's wet, but it's not real watery, so. And then I'm just gonna feather, do the same thing. I'm gonna feather the green, the same thing I did to the white, so that the white and the green to mesh together, like in, like they're feathered together. They're not like, um, there's not a hard line over there. So that's basically 
the water droplet. Now, to make it look realistic, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more dark up here. Okay, so to make it look realistic, this water droplet, now the, here comes the, the part that does that. So you're now you're gonna take the darker green and you're gonna put the shadow under where the white is. So now there's, it's all white. You pull out the middle, you add a little of this color to it, the lighter green. I did the bottom half with white, top half with the darker green, and then I feathered in the middle with a little bit of, you know, with just a wet brush that's clean of paint. There's no paint on it, just a wet brush. Now, so that's what I have here. So now I'm gonna take the dark green. I'm watering it down a little bit. I don't want it real heavy. But now I'm gonna go right, right under my, it's important you go right at, this is probably the only really important part that you try not to mess up on is going underneath the white. So you want to get a nice clean line right under here. Okay, now you're going to feather that out too, just a little bit. And I'm going to have to add some water because it's still a little, you know, I just don't want that hard line there, but I want the green there. So I'm going to dry, wet my brush, clean it off. So the only thing is I got now is a wet brush. I don't have any color on it. Now I'm going to feather that edge. And now I've got my water droplet. Now there's one more important part of the water droplet, which takes two seconds to do. And that's clean off your brush, dip the point of your brush into the white and put a little dot there. Now you can leave one dot. Sometimes I put two, like one a little smaller than the other, but then I use that dot. Now that's your water droplet, okay? Pretty simple if you know the procedure and people get impressed by it because it looks impressive when you're doing it. When you do it, when you look at it, it looks impressive. Oh, that's a water dropper. But as you, it looks so real, but as you um, do it, you realize there's just steps to it in, in it. And it's really not as difficult as it may appear when you're looking at it. So now on the rock, I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to use black. So I'm going to I'm gonna do the circle in white. Now it doesn't matter if you put it on a little heavy, but I try to keep it not so heavy because I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be thick because it's just more color I have to pull out after. So you get your circle in there, wet it, wet your brush, dab it off so that there's no paint on it. It's just, just, you know, it's just a wet brush. It's just wet. Pull some color out. That's going to give you your gray, the rock underneath. Now I can see my rock because I'm, I'm just pulling out some of that color. Sometimes you have to do it, you know, you have to work at it a little bit, but you can pull it out, pull out the color. So now you get this, okay? So it's just a white circle. I just pulled out the the middle while it was still wet. Can't let it dry, of course. Okay, now I've got that. So now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some white, a little bit of white, and I'm gonna do the bottom half white, just like I did with the other one. Bottom half white, and of course I'm gonna wet my brush. No color just a wet brush and I'm going to feather the, the center area of it so it doesn't so it doesn't look like it's a hard line going across. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to put that up the top. Now I'm going to wet my brush and get get it a little watered down. I want to water it down a little. Okay, so I'm going to put some black on the top half. That looks kind of dark right now, so, but that's okay. You're gonna get your top half in there. So as you can see right now, it just looks like half white, half black. You see that? So now I'm gonna take my brush, clean it off, so that all as I have is a wet brush, no color in it, just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna feather 
that spot in the center. You always dry it off a little on the paper towel because you don't want to flood your little droplet with water. So it's, it's just a matter of moving it around a little so that you can feather it. Now, it's a little dark, so I'm going to take a little bit out. I don't want it so dark. I just want it more of a gray, not black. So I'm going to, in order to take paint out while it's still wet, you just wet your brush, dab it off on a paper towel, and get some of that darkness out of there. Now, I'm going to go back with the white because I get I, I brought the black down a little bit lower than I wanted to. So I want to add a little bit of white, wet it, even when you add some together, feather it in the center. Now you can see where I feathered it, it definitely looks um, blended. That's what blends it. When I say feather it, it's just, you're just kind of doing this to blend it. Okay, so now I've got this, okay? Again, I've just got half white, half gray, and um, the darker areas up top. Um, now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add my little shadow, which is the black again. So I'm gonna just get a little bit of black. I'm gonna go beneath the, um, the white, right underneath the white, like I did the other one. Need a little bit of a steady hand to do this. But then I'm gonna pull it down. You can see I'm pulling it down. I'm gonna wet my brush, get all the color off of it. Now I just have the wet brush again. And now this is just water going on there. It looks like it's dark, but it's not. It's it's just water. So it's but when the rock is gets wet, of course it looks darker. But this is just to feather it down. When it dries, you'll see that that's gonna be gone. Okay, now. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna get a little bit, if you if you feel like it doesn't look right, take a little bit of extra white and put it down to really give it that contrast right there. And it'll show up a little bit more, okay? If you wanna put a little darker up here, you can feather a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little more dark because I want my little white dot to show up. So again, I'm just gonna feather it right in the center there. Okay, now that's what it looks like, okay? See, so you got the white, you got the white, you got the dark, the dark gray, sort of blackish, you got the shadow underneath the white, and then I'm just gonna put a simple white dot right up in the corner somewhere here. Now, I could just leave one dot and show you how it looks with one dot, okay? So you could just get one dot. Now this is it. So that's your, um, that's how you do it. That's your water droplet. And as they dry, they look a little bit more real as they dry. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that.